I just want to start off by saying I don't like patterns. I don't like using patterns. I like making my own pattern because I don't know, it makes it easier for me. I planned on being the Riddler <laughs> with my friend who is going to be the penguin, which I'm sure people have already seen those videos. <laughs> I don't know how to make a suit. So I thought, okay, I'll get a pattern. And for the first time in my sewing career, no, that's not the right word. In my cosplay experience, I was going to finish a pattern because I'll buy patterns all the time and I'll open them and I'll start to use them. And I'm like, no, oh no. But I knew I was gonna need a pattern. So I was very determined to finish my first pattern <laughs> and pull through with it. I mentioned I was gonna come out with this video a while ago at the end of um at the end of my Deku video and I just this footage was so hard to edit through because I'm talking through most of it and it's pretty much just me complaining and I don't even end up filming everything. <laughs> I don't finish filming everything. It just it just ends. It just ends. So I tried to leave in a lot of the stuff I was talking about because most of the time I don't even understand what I'm explaining or what I'm doing. So there's going to be a lot of <laughs> complaining <laughs> and talking moments in this. So I apologize for that. But um, oof, let me, let me backtrack, let me backtrack. So I'll try to explain things as there's time lapse moments and try my best to explain my anger behind things or why I'm upset, I guess. But yeah, a heads up, this video is not complete. This is not a complete video. I did not film everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was so bad. It was so bad. So I hope you enjoy me using a pattern for the first time. <laughs> Yo, it sucked. Yo, it sucked. It sucks so much. No way. I got, I got eight yards of fabric, but I can fit everything onto four yards. So the thing I'm bummed out about is that when I ordered the fat, okay, <clears throat> I ordered the fabric online and they couldn't do eight yards in one go. So they had to do uh, four and four. But when I ordered it, it shows eight yards. So I can't go back to Joanne's and be like, hey, I want to return four yards of fabric. And they're going to be like, you cut it. I'd be like, no, 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 no. When I ordered it, you cut it because you couldn't do eight yards. But when you checked me out, you put it in as eight yards instead of four and four in the way that I had gotten it. So now I have four yards, four extra yards of this fabric. What is with me in buying too much fabric? I'm on the back of the, am I even visible? Am I even visible? Let me, let me get up close. Let me get up close. Okay, let me get up close. On the back of the, on the back of the thing, on the. <laughs> it says I need two and five eighths yards of fabric, but I don't know what the, by 45? Is it by 45 inches? I assume that I need six, and then I got two extra yards for length, but all in all, I only needed four because my fabric was wider. I'm gonna, okay, this is why I can't use patterns. I'm so stupid. What, what? I brought too much, I brought four yards of extra fabric? I mean, spending $40 on that and thinking that I could have spent $20 because I'm dumb. It's a little unsettling. What am I gonna use it for? I still have to make the tie. <gasps> no. You know what, I'll make that a different fabric. I don't give a single no. this moment in time. And the way that they have it set up is that even then in the thing, there's like so much extra space not being used and like nowhere, like on the front of it, like see how these people are using the same colors on the front of it, nowhere in there are they like, hey, you can put these pieces over there to help you conserve Wait, does it say it? And maybe I'm just not reading it because I hate reading. Does it say it anywhere? What does this mean? Adjust if needed. If I had gotten two, four, why didn't they do it? I'm so peeved. I'm so peeved. I'm so peeved by this. You know how much green fabric I have? I have so much green fabric and I got more green fabric because the thing I was, I'm, I'm doing wasn't the right shade of green that I had had. So I got more green fabric. But that means that I have four extra yards of shiny green fabric. And apparently, I can make a whole other suit out of it. I swear to God, if I cut out all these pieces and the suit doesn't fit, I'm suing myself. I could I fit it all on there. All of it, on four yards. This is so, mm. And look at that, look at that. Even then, I still need to finish cutting all the pattern. <laughs> so, it's been like a week. Oh my god, it's been like a hot minute. I took a shower. I'm gonna cut out the pieces that I've had on the floor for the longest time. 
and probably put the pants pieces aside. I still don't get it. I still don't understand. I keep on reading the pattern and I'm still not sure, but whatever. We're gonna cut out the pieces. So the thing I was angry about was that on the back of the pattern package or whatever, it tells you the yards that you need, but nowhere is it very clear of like the width of it. <laughs> and then on the side, it all says like 45. So I'm thinking maybe it meant by 45 inches, <laughs> which I didn't really understand. It just says 45 two line star star. How am I supposed to know what that means? So I was upset with myself that I wasn't understanding what the back of the pattern package meant when it meant by the dimensions of your fabric. So that way I realized after I laid them all out and fit them all together, I was able to save an extra four yards of fabric because I got eight yards. So I was angry <laughs> that I couldn't go and return it because my fabric was wider than the 45. <laughs> I didn't get it. I still don't get it. Like, why isn't it very obvious? It's like, you need two yards of fabric, but why wouldn't it be like the fabric that you need should be by 40? <laughs> I, the, I don't get it. I'm so shaken still. But uh, here I am just cutting out all of my pieces and all of the pants pieces. And you know what was real? <laughs> tragic was that the pants pieces were uh too small for me the pattern i had got the pieces were too small and the pants uh didn't end up fitting so i needed that extra four yards anyway there is my lovely kitty bruce yes it's so cute there's all the suit stuff i took a picture everything except the pocket so now i'm gonna unpin all of them you know out of it because some of them require inner lining and I want inner lining, and I have some black polka dot stuff I want to use as the inner lining, so that's the plan. Yes. Precious child. So I analyzed a bunch of Riddler footage from Gotham trying to figure out what the inside of his jacket was. So I found a scene where you could kind of see the inside and it was polka dot. So I was super excited because I actually had a bunch of polka dot fabric. So I'm just undoing all the pattern pieces and then re-putting them on there for the inner lining part. Now I uh, I mentioned in <laughs> I mentioned in my last video that um so this was this <laughs> So I made this cosplay right after Anime Boston and I had mentioned in my last video because I didn't post this because it was kind of hard to edit that I really wanted to make sure I filmed everything. Because while I was doing this one, I filmed nothing. There is no footage of me filming at the sewing machine. It's, I don't know why I didn't do it. I was just so irritated by all the problems I was having making the pattern that I did not film myself doing anything. <laughs> and then it just cuts to me talking and complaining about why <laughs> I don't understand the pattern. I don't like my life. Why am I so bad? Why am I so bad at using patterns <laughs> so i just thought i'd show the pattern it's what it, what is this S simplicity 8528 why am i looking at the camera i'm over my shoulder right now just because i wanted to like share what's going on so in the thing it tells you that so fold it we'll fold it it says you need interfacing like interfacing is something that you have to have and i don't even understand why but inner lining is optional right there optional and it gives you the thing then when you turn it around right it's like hey lining lining right there but doesn't show you anywhere that there's lining and it's like hey 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 don't worry just sew your lining pieces onto your pieces and then sew the pattern like normal that way all of your your seams are showing on the inside it doesn't even give you the option for lining but then it's like yeah just sew it to your pieces before you sew the, the rest of it and then your inner seams are going to show on the inside the point of lining is so that it doesn't do that why wouldn't it if it says if it says it's optional why isn't it giving you the option or showing you the method on how to like sew the inner lining along the edge of it so that way you don't have this on the inside so that way when you open your jackets the other way it's reversed i don't i'm i'm upset it's weird how it shows lining which is supposed to be the dark color and then the lighter color is supposed to be the right side but nowhere on it is it like hey 
here's your lining. Like nowhere on here does it actually show the lining being used. It's like, yeah, if you want to do it, it's already on there. But we're not going to show you how to do it so that your seams aren't on the inside. Either way, I am not going to be doing it that way because, you know, screw me. Um, instead, I'm going to start pinning the fabric. I'm going to be pinning the side pieces. There we go. Oh my god, I'm not close enough to the camera. Um, one and three, apparently. And then both the twos on the back. And then probably the tops of this and that. I'm gonna be pinning all that together. So two, one, three, and then the tops of one and two. Not the backs of three and two yet. That's, that's a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother thing. So I'm just gonna do that for now and then we'll get to step six at some point. I don't even wanna read all this. I tried, I've done. And also the inner lining. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with the inner lining and not sewing it to my pieces. That way I can reverse it. I swear, for anybody watching this, hoping to figure out how to use this pattern, I, what? Like, look at this. They sew it, but they don't even show you. They're like, yeah, you know what? Are you stupid? You don't know how to use a pattern? Figure it out. Bacayano. So I was real upset that like the patterns, every time I was reading it, I wasn't fully understanding it. I wasn't fully understanding what the pattern meant and I was angry that even though I know how to sew, <laughs> not very good, but still I can sew, that I wasn't understanding like the sewing terms and it seemed to be very advanced on how to use patterns, not for somebody who hasn't used one before. So I was real pissed that I didn't know how to use it and I still couldn't figure out how even when I was reading things. I was like, I don't want to try to understand this. I don't like it. So let me read this to see how much of an inch I should be sewing. It's like sewing methods and tips. Okay, so let me see. Stay, I don't want to stay stitch. I just want to sew it. It isn't like, hey, sew it at this thick of a line. Where does it say that? Edge finishing? No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let me look, let me look at five. Five. No, I don't want to stay stitch. I just want to actually sew it. Where is it? Hold on. One and a half seams unless otherwise stated. What? Is that even on my sewing machine? What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so I looked it up. Five eighths is on my sewing machine and that's actually like a pretty big gap. Like why would they have that aggressive of a gap? Five eighths? Really? Five eighths is how big of a thing and then I'll like trim the access. You gotta be kidding me. So I'm gonna insert a video of my sewing machine here just so I can show you uh, 5 8 on the sewing machine and I thought they would at least maybe do like a uh half -huh. <laughs> but 5 8 I was shocked because I thought that was really a waste of fabric and then it just tells you to cut off the extra so I'm thinking really that big that's that's kind of a waste. Okay, so now pinning all of the pattern pieces together for the inner lining and for the outside. Oh yeah, also satin sucks. <laughs> satin just, did, just bubbles. Oh, bad things happen with the satin. Back panel, side panel, side panel. So what I did was I sewed it and obviously there's a great amount of puckers in there. And when I looked it up, it was like, oh, just change your attention. I no, <laughs> I'm lazy. So um, what I did was I sprayed it with a bottle and then I ironed it. It's still a little puckery, not as bad as that. This actually looks a lot better. So I'm gonna iron this one again and then iron those two and they should be a lot nicer without like so many puckers. Like, look at that. This area is so nice compared to like this entire thing. <laughs> Look at that. Iron the pieces. They're still a little wobbly, but you know, whatever. Puckers are puckers. I ironed both the side pieces, sewed those together, and ironed the back piece, and then sewed the back piece of the inner lining of the side. And that took so long because of the stretchy fabric. So right now, while I'm here, I'm gonna go to the next step, which I said I was going to do and then I didn't do. Is it is it showing it? Is it close? Where is it? Right there. 
I'm gonna pin the tops of the shoulder pieces together of the inner lining and then sew those together. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and start on 13 right there and just pin um, the arms together. Not doing any other things like putting them together, just, I don't know what I'm saying. It'll become clear at some point. Yo, my camera freaking got full space, like right in the middle and I had to like transfer all of the footage over to my laptop because I was like, what? why does it say end? It's never hit end. Now pinning the sleeves together and getting shook because they weren't the same size on each side. I was like, what's wrong with these pieces? But yeah, they fit together and for both the outside and the inner lining. This, this part right here, everything going on between what? Six and 10. Everything between th this to this, all confusing. Don't understand. Don't understand. Don't even want to try to understand. I'm doing things differently because like right from the start, they're just like, sew your lining to it. And then, you know, all of your seams are going to be showing on the entire inside. What's the point of that? So I don't want my seam showing on the inside. So I'm going to be sewing it a little bit differently than this. For anybody interested, for anybody who even wants to know, what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do. If you're looking at it and if you have this pattern and you're also a little bit confused and you want to use inner lining and you don't want any of this. Because look at that, look at that. They're like, okay, after you sew that part there, we're just gonna have you stitch on the outside of your suit. That way it's gonna be a straight line and then somebody's gonna see a little stitch line there. Wh what? Like, really? Why would you wanna sew it like that? Is that how people sew suits? I'm going to be doing this part was step six, this step six, right here. I have this back part sewed, and then I have this piece sewn, and then the tops right here, there, sewn together. So those are all together, that's all set. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go, I wish I had nails. So we're gonna go, just look at the edge of my pin, the little yellow thing. So to the top of here, to this circle, that black circle, right on the edge of that corner area. We're just gonna sew from there to there for now on both the outside and the inner lining. So both sides, there to there, there to there. Don't, don't even touch any of this yet, ignore that line, ignore everything over here. Just sew there to right there. Now I'm just pinning the spots that I pointed out. I already sewed from there to there on each section. Where is it? I'm lost here. There we go, there to there. So these flaps are now open, just there to there. So instead of doing what it's trying to tell me to do that I'm clearly not understanding, maybe I'm gonna end up doing it the right way. I thought about just pinning it to the outside and then just taking the fabric and flipping it over. But instead, I am just going to pin it together and then not here to here, but on each edge from here to the bottom, sew the inner lining to the piece and then flip it inside out. So yeah, instead of sewing it the way that it was directing me, I pinned all of the outside edges of the little slits in the suit and then sewed those together. There's a kitty over there, look at him. Wait. There we go, yes. And then after I pinned all those together, just sewing them all four lines. Now that that's pinned, I'm gonna go sew these. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Before I do the next thing, I'm going to take each edge and you know, just push it down and then sew along the outside so that it looks all nice and pretty, you know what I'm, you know what I mean? That is the next step in whatever I'm doing. I don't know, do I even know how to sew? This made more sense to me, I guess. I'm not really sure the full way it was trying to explain to me how to do the slits on the back of the suit. But after I did that, like you can see, I'm just pushing down the edges and then I sewed on the outside line. That way, instead of just ironing it, it kind of like held it better because I didn't want the polka dot part to peek out 
in that area. Now that the bottoms are sewed all nice on both sides, now I'm going to go in onto the inside and sew from point to point on the inside shut this weird kind of bow part on both ends. These being the parts that I just sewed nicely shut on the outside. Now I'm going to sew these. But like, as you can see, after I sewed the slip parts, now I could flip it over and you wouldn't see any of the seams. They're all in between. While I'm sewing that, I'm gonna sew five and six together. But I realized after that the pieces I had cut out, I just cut them out to cut them out. <laughs> They aren't really the color I needed. So five and six I have in green, but I actually need the collar for my jacket to be black. I ended up cutting out the wrong pieces, like I said, so I just took the pattern pieces, got some black fabric, and did that for the collar because the Riddler's collar for the jacket I was trying to make was black. And also while I was at it, I did the first step of pinning three of the sides together. I don't know what I'm doing and I've given up, so I'm going to fix the arms. Like an idiot, again, I didn't think that the little circles on the pattern mattered. Or the little, you know, darts, little triangles that they're like, cut these out and you see these circles, mark these circles. Yeah, I didn't think those mattered. So I just like swooshed right on by those and didn't add them, which I should have. So if you're gonna use a pattern, add those onto your pattern pieces. Do not go right by them. So I thought I'm gonna only need them once. So I went back and I, whew, instead of drawing on, I pinned them all. So I put pins to mark where the circles and the triangles were. That way I could fit my arms in. All the knot spots have been added. So now I just have to pin the arms together. Let's see, it's like, I already sewed the arms together, and then it says to finish the edge before I sew it to the whole part. But I'm interlining, so I'm not gonna do that. The pattern instructed you to finish your cuffs first and then sew in your arms. But I realized that I couldn't finish the cuffs and then sew on the arms because then the seams would be on the outside in the inside. So I thought, okay, I'll sew in the arms first and then I'll do the cuffs after. I basically saved the cuffs and the whole bottom of the jacket for last. That way everything was the correct way. We have a problem, just a slight problem. The arm thing is too big for the hole, which doesn't add up. What was supposed to happen? I don't understand this. What the frick, cracking frick? Shouldn't this, this should match up. Doesn't, by like an inch. <sighs> I'm gonna, okay. So it doesn't match. And I'm gonna go cry in a corner. Oh my God, okay, so I hate my life. I did an oopsie, I did an oopsie. So the pieces didn't match and it's because I had to do I had to ease the sleeves, which I didn't know what it was until I went, where is it? Where is it? Glossary and ease. Right there, right in the sewing directions. It tells you how to ease things, which is apparently sewing two parallel lines around, where was my fabric? Apparently sewing two parallel lines around the edge of your fabric and then pulling it, pulling the string so that it bunches up. That's why the sleeves are bigger then the hole for the jacket, you're supposed to ease it and then bunch it up and then fit it in there. Whatever, whatever. I, ooh. So I just went back and basically, where is it? Okay. Basically re-put in all the dots and redrew all of the lines and the dots that I needed on all of my pieces after I already sewed them together. That way I can go in and I guess sew the sleeve the way that it's, and trying to instruct me to just sew the sleeve. I honestly, I was this close to just cutting the top of the sleeve off so that it would <laughs> Oh wait, can... Oh. <laughs> okay, so I added the, um... <laughs> the 
ease, whatever it's called, right around the entire edge parallel, or as parallel as I can get it. I'm kind of off of the thing. Um, I didn't do it where the notches were, so there's one notch. Okay, there are two notches here and one notch here, so I didn't put the easing lines there because on the picture it doesn't show them there. At least says not to. So now I'm going to attempt to do what it said to do, which was take, what I did it on this side, to take these two strings on the top. I can do this. Wait, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in on my hand. Okay, to take these two strings on the top and to, oh, yep, there it is, to pull it until it gets into a spot where I can just... So yeah, surprise, surprise, the easing definitely worked. It fit and I was totally shook that it fit. So I only eased the green pieces. I didn't ease the inside because that was stretchy fabric. So I just stretch it to fit. There was no point in easing them. I'm still shocked that I didn't film myself sewing at the machine this entire time. What was I doing? Why didn't I set up the camera at any point during this project? I ease the sleeves. They're all in there. So I haven't sewed the edges together yet. I'm going to do that after because I skipped ahead. So right now I'm going to jump back because I just ironed this collar piece. Can I have those? Maybe I can just... No, I need it. Yes, wait. Got him. There you are. So right now, I'm gonna jump back because before I jumped way up into step uh, 13 with the arms, I'm going back to step 12. 12. There we go. Which is when you sew, is it focusing? When you sew the back of it onto the back of the thing, whatever. Either way, that's what I'm doing. So I had already sewed the three points on the collar and ironed them out so they were nice and flat. That looks like the, <laughs> the pattern picture. Just like that, there we go, okay. So now, I'm going to jump ahead now that I jump back to number 20. There we go, 20, this one right here. The pieces that I have yet to take the pattern stuff off of. Seven and eight. What is this? Okay, hold up. I learned my notches about, learned my my whatever, I don't know, learn my lesson. There we go, I learned my lesson about notches earlier. Where's the marker? Where's the marker? <laughs> there, just to be safe, I'm going to add notches like I should have done before. Like it tells you to do, why didn't I leave it on there? This is so, huh. Notches are added. The thing about this one is that this is the back piece that goes along the edge and then it will flip inward after. And these pieces go like this and like this. And then it is sewed all along this line and then flipped inside out. Okay, so yes, this is how it needs to be pinned. So now I'm gonna pin this and then I'm gonna sew this to finish step eight. I'm not adding whatever the frick frack it's talking about. I'm not putting in any interfacing, which might be a mistake. So those are basically the inside pieces of the jacket that you basically, you, you sew them onto the outside line flip them inside and then you can actually, you know, fold over your collar point piece. Okay, there we go. Pin, pin, I'm going to sew this and uh, that and I'll be back. Maybe, maybe not. Wow, we've made it to the drop off point. So this, these, these videos that you're about to see are the last videos that I took while sewing this. I looked up how to do the pockets and then this is just me cutting out the pockets. This is all I took. I didn't take any other video of it because I just got so angry. <laughs> this was probably the point where I had cut out the um the pants pieces and they didn't fit. So I was like, 
forget this, forget everything. I just need to make this and finish it because I had never finished a pattern before and I was afraid that I wasn't going to finish it. So I was like, that's it. I'm going to speed through this. So uh, I, 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 was, I was determined to finish it. I was determined to finish this suit jacket. This is the last that I filmed. I can't believe I didn't film anything else. I'm so disappointed and that's why in the uh, Tokyo Ghoul video I tried to film everything because I, I thought I was gonna post this video before it and I didn't I didn't film anything oh it's just shocking I mean in the end the suit came out really nice and I was so happy with it I mean I did cut a lot of corners towards the end because I thought it's on the inside nobody's gonna see it even though I made such a uh, a fit about having my seam show on the inside and then I didn't even finish some of the seams on the inside. So yeah, there's me pinning the pockets together. I'm gonna insert a video right here of just the extra stuff I did onto the jacket. So here is the jacket and we got to the last point. I didn't even end up uh, sewing the edges together after I folded it inside. I just pinned it so that they, <laughs> I just pinned it so that they would stay in there and then just folding it over and then ironing it all nice so that the collar looked good. For the bottom edges, I didn't want to sew them how it was saying to just fold it over and then sew it. I didn't want the seams to be on the outside. I wanted the outside to be nice and pretty. So I went along the whole outside and just hand sewed it to the inner lining without hitting the outside piece. So you can kind of see my weird <laughs> hand stitching on the entire edge. And of course I ironed that. I did the same thing for the cuffs. The buttons I did sew so that they were touching on the inside, but I did the same thing. I folded it over, ironed it, and I stitched it to the inner lining. I had to look up how to do the pockets because I wasn't sure how to make pockets the way that I wanted them. So I looked it up and I found a nice video. So I did them though that they were, what, double, double pocket folds, and then the one for the chest. And then lastly, just sewing on the buttons. The pants, we don't need to talk about the pants. <laughs> but either way, the inside looked really nice and the seams were not showing. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, this is a failure. Oh man. I'm really glad that I ended up finishing the pattern. <laughs> not in the way that it instructed me to do, but I still finished it. So I'm going to take a nice video of it on my mannequin so you can see the whole thing again. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and putting up with my terrible use of patterns. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I promise when I use another pattern, I will take video of everything. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day.